my YouTube channel. My name is Pretty Golden. I mean, okay, my name is Cynthia, but you guys all know me as Pretty Golden. Um, I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel for so long now, like maybe like five years now, but I just never do because I don't know, like I just don't feel comfortable like putting my life out there, but it seems like my life is pretty out there, even if I don't want it to be out there. But yeah, so um I really don't know what I'm gonna do with my channel. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. Um, I don't have like one specific thing that I want it to be or what I'm gonna do with it. I just wanna have fun with it. I just wanna be free, express myself, you know, say whatever I wanna say. It's my YouTube channel. You guys can't do nothing about it. Mm hmm. But yeah, so it's just a little bit about myself. I'm from Toronto, Canada. And, um,. Yeah, and I don't know, like I, I actually have always aspired to be an actress, so I went to film school and um, I just want to get into the film industry, like that's always been my thing, like I want to do something that I love to do, like I don't want to be, I'm not a 9 to 5 type of person, so like I don't you know, know, like there's a lot to come, so you guys have to stay tuned, you have to stay, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel because trust me, there's a lot to come. My life is pretty interesting, I think, so. Yeah, so you guys, you just never know what you're going to get, you know? It's just whatever I feel, like, whatever I want to do, you know? So, yeah, let me check myself out a little bit. Okay, cute girl. Mm. Anyways, so yeah, um, so for this first video, I just didn't want to, like, just do an introduction video. I actually wanted to, as well, um, share my pregnancy story and um, experience with you guys. And... Yeah, so just talk about pretty much the trimesters, the first trimester, second trimester, and the third trimester, and also a little bit of my labor story. Um, I am a mother as well, so I have a one-year-old. She's one, one. Time flew like it's crazy. I can't believe she's one. I can't believe. I still can't believe I'm a mom. I'm still trying to wrap it around my head that I, I actually have a daughter. Like have a whole daughter, like a whole human being that I'm responsible for but yeah like it's amazing like I absolutely love being a mom it's like the best thing that's ever happened to me like you just love it like it's a lot of work but I just love doing it like I don't complain like I love being a mom so so yeah so let's get right into it um so I was pregnant 2017 and I had my daughter just um January 2018 um, like my first trimester was, um, it was, it was actually like, I, I feel like people don't tell you the realness about like being pregnant and, um, pregnancy itself. Like people always make it seem like, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> no, sis, you gotta be real. I, I don't know. Everybody has their own like experience with pregnancy. I feel like mine was just a little bit difficult just not like i had i didn't have a difficult pregnancy i didn't have issues like i was healthy and everything and my child and my baby was healthy it was just like i think it was like pretty much what led up to like what led up to my pregnancy like i just um i feel like i'm saying like a lot yeah i am saying like a lot um i'll try not to say like a lot but i had a difficult pregnancy based on what I was going through at the moment um when I was pregnant I was like three months pregnant the father of my child like we've known each other for like two years we were friends first before we got together and yeah and then after that everything just kind of went downhill like we just were not getting along and things wasn't working out and I found out I was pregnant in the middle of like we not getting along and stuff so and so pretty much yeah we tried to like make it work it wasn't working and whatever so um, I was like, I think three months pregnant at the time. And then I found out that he was engaged. He got engaged while I was pregnant. And he just didn't never told me. I had to find out like on social media that he was engaged. And I, it was just, it just became a whole thing after that. Like, you know, so it was, it made my pregnancy difficult because I, I was going through so much at the time. And like, I felt like it was a time of my life. I was supposed to enjoy being pregnant. You know, I was just supposed to just like, soak myself into that moment and like embrace it and love it but it was just so hard like embracing everything embracing pregnancy and like going through something so like you're going through this like big life changes and then like something else like something you're supposed to be excited about 
it's like someone kind of took that you feel like someone took that excitement away excited about my daughter but I was just like was well, just a lot going on at the same time and you know I didn't really have time to just like soak into that moment and just love being pregnant and just enjoy it um my first trimester was really really hard I was sick a lot like I was like sick throwing up all the time I couldn't eat like I lost a lot of weight um so like first trimester is like it's like probably the hardest like I feel like to me um which was like that was up to like three months like maybe like from from the fourth month it was like I was getting better so like I think it's like a trimester I honestly didn't have like any problems at all I could barely actually remember what my second trimester was like um but it was like it was pretty more I, I had more energy I was like I'm almost getting back to like my actual self again the first trimester was pretty okay, easy guys, so I, I it was just like second trimester kind of so. start getting back yeah, into your old it. self and trying to like get back into your routine and whatever you have going on um but for like the third trimester at this point I was getting bigger it was harder to move I couldn't put on my own shoes anymore it was hard to sleep like I couldn't even sleep anymore like I was like it was just like it was just hard it was hard to sleep like and um, that's pretty much it like I really had like a good pregnancy like I, I've heard a lot of stories and like people go through so much while they're pregnant you know they have like like really 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 difficult pregnancy but I'm grateful I thank God like I had like a good pregnancy my daughter was healthy I didn't have no issues with her you know whatever so yeah I'm glad about that I'm happy about that but yeah so I think like by my third trimester I was also still going through stuff with my the father of my child he got married while I was still pregnant and while I had my daughter he was getting married so um yeah so it was just like all that just really made it so difficult to really like enjoy being pregnant and just embrace the whole thing because like I was just like at the time worried about so many things like you know like trying to figure out how he could still be in my daughter's life with everything that we had going on and um yeah it was just very difficult and like the it was pretty much like it was out there like a lot of like family or friends everybody knew what was going on and you know like the thing was like it was pretty messy so um, yeah, so at that time it was just really difficult to like just soak in the moment and really just enjoy what I had going on and enjoy bringing my daughter into this world. But I still loved it. I, I'm still, I'm still so glad like everything happens for a reason. So at this point, like a lot of the, a lot of things started making sense and it made sense why we never worked out. So yeah, so, but, um, all I really care about is that he's in my daughter's life and we're both being the best parents that we could be to her. Cause I, I do strongly believe like you don't have to be together to have a child but you do a child does need both of the mom the parents to be there so a child does need a mom and a child does need a father to be there so um that's how what i believe so as long as you have that like that's everything um on a little bit of my labor story um yeah so it was like um i think it was like it was actually a sunday night um and this was like 20 20 20 yeah it was actually 2018 so yeah it was it was January 7 2018 actually it was the 8th already yeah so it was like 3 a.m. you know like the day before I like just cooked dinner and everything um she was actually like a week up, like four days late she was supposed to be born on the 5th and she came on 8th so um yeah so it was like we were just like I was just I just went to sleep I was sleeping and then I just felt like a gush, like a water. Like I felt something like just, it was like I couldn't control it. Like it just kind of like dropped out of me. And like I got up so fast and I was like, oh my goodness, like what's happening to me? And then like I just see gush of water like just coming out. And yeah, my water broke at home. So, and then honestly, I didn't feel anything after that. Like I didn't feel no type of like contractions. Like I didn't feel any pain. I wasn't in any pain. And uh, I just went to go take a shower and even that didn't help because even after that like i just had like water just coming out of me and i got to the hospital and i was there actually like my my, my blood pressure was like really really high i must have been like really nervous about like having a child and like the labor wise and everything so yeah so it was pretty high and then i got something for that to bring, bring down my blood pressure and um 
and then yeah so like honestly like it was pretty easy like I, I went in there like into labor very nervous just because I've heard so much stories and people would tell me that they were in labor for 20 hours 40 something hours so like that made me really really nervous like to go into labor like I was so scared like I was nervous as hell I was scared scared like legit scared <laughs> but um when I got in there it was like six hours I got in there under six hours and like I was ready to push I actually took epidural like the pain was crazy who like it was legit like out of this world I just remember whenever like my contractions come. would come I just remember my eyes rolling back and like I had my aunt there with me because my mom was actually out of the country at the time so like she would tell me oh she was saying like in our like language she was telling me pretty much oh yeah I shouldn't take you know epidural blah 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 so yeah so i took one and yeah i was better like the minute i took epidural i didn't feel anything i didn't feel any pain and then just like it was just ready to, it was just time to push and then within like 10 minutes 15 minutes i did that thing and you see that little head come out of that vagina like <laughs> like honestly like it was just so crazy it was so amazing like i still can't believe she came out of me like i can't believe like i did that you know what i mean like i did that like you know that's that's my daughter feel me you know yeah so like she came out within like 15 10 minutes of pushing and yeah it was just so honestly i don't think i got that feeling that moment of like you know how people would say oh you start crying and like you feel this thing i was just so nervous like when you put her on my chest i was like what the heck yo this is actually real like this is like a human being like she's she was in me like i was like shook like i think i was just shook like i, I didn't really know how to feel like i didn't have that like know how to feel like i didn't have that like most amazing feeling like at that moment like it took a while for, a while for me to really like wow this is actually real like even now i still feel like wow like you know what it's like to have a child like to be responsible for a whole human being like that's crazy but i absolutely love being a mom it's like been like the best time of my life like my whole entire life it's been like it's it hasn't been easy but honestly it's not easy like i'm not gonna sit here and tell you oh yeah it's so like easy being a mom it's so much fun it is so much fun but it has days that it's like it's actually really difficult like you you have this person that you're responsible for you know and you have to put them first it's not about you anymore your life is not necessarily about you as much as it's about you it's not you have to make sure your child comes first and they get what they need and all that they need first before you so yeah but it's been amazing i absolutely love being a mom she's like the best thing that's ever happened to me so yeah that's like a little bit about you know my pregnancy what? yeah so subscribe to my youtube channel guys you know no you guys I'm gonna subscribe to my youtube channel you guys let me know what you want to you know know whatever you want me to talk about i'm gonna talk about everything i'm just here to express myself like you know what i mean like i i feel like it's also therapeutic for me you know like i want to have something you know i could just express myself be myself say whatever i want to say like you know and not give two fucks what's up yeah, mm -hmm. i'm gonna try to like be as open as i can about my life about whatever i'm going on and yeah thank you Baby, baby, baby.